Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher, a Sun Life Financial Chair in Adolescent Mental Health at the IWK Health Center and Dalhousie University. And today I just want to talk very briefly about a really, really important topic and that's uh, access uh, to mental health care. We know that for people who have a mental illness, young people who have a mental disorder, that rapid access to effective care is a really, really important necessity. It improves their outcomes both in the short term and in the long term if they receive that care. We also know that for young people who have mental health problems, who are dealing with big, big stresses in their lives or challenges in their lives, but they don't have a mental illness, but if they can get access to the appropriate level of care, counseling or support, uh, then they also do better. And so the question uh, remains, how, how do we actually improve that? Well, you know, one of the big issues is do we have enough mental health care providers? Do we have enough professionals who know how to properly diagnose and properly treat young people who have a mental disorder? And the answer to that is most likely not. And so what we need to do is both enhance the capacity of providers that are already there, such as primary health care providers, give them the tools, give them the training to do that better. But we also have to ensure that we make it easy for people who don't need that highly specialized mental health care to get services which are not as specialized but are helpful to them so they don't have to go to the highly specialized mental health services. So if we were able to provide in the school setting, so for example, in a school-based health center or in school-based care providers, individuals with competency and capacity in counseling, for example, those kind of providers in a school setting, they could very effectively and very well deal with young people who are having mental health problems who otherwise would either not get the help that they need or be shunted off to mental health specialty services and stand in a long queue, a long waiting line. But then everybody stands in that waiting line. People with depression and people who are feeling unhappy would be in the same waiting line and, and that's not good for everybody. So enhancing the capacity in the school, first of all, it's with being able to increase mental health literacy of teachers and students so that as part of that they know when and where to go to get help that they need and they also have the skills that they need to take better care of themselves. But also to put into school settings those individuals who have the skill sets and competencies to deal with mental health problems, to deal with issues that students have that don't require specialty mental health care to help students who have difficulties that aren't mental disorders. And if we can address that particular issue in the school setting, and the two best ways are school-based health centers and professionals that, that are working in the school but are linked to health care systems, we're going to go a long way to improving that access. And at the same time, we can't forget, in fact, we have to focus on those young people who do have a mental disorder and in there we have to ensure that they get more rapid access to the care that exists and we have to ensure that the care that exists is of the appropriate quality and the appropriate standard. You know, access to mental health care is a social justice issue. The provision of quality care is a competency issue and we have to address both of those issues simultaneously. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Stan Kucher, the Sun Life Financial Chair in Adolescent Mental Health.